Hello there and welcome to this exciting adventure we call the Zero Trust Journey. Now, I know what you're thinking. Graham, darling Zero Trust. Sounds terribly dramatic, doesn't it? Like a Scandinavian thriller where no one trusts anyone and they're all drinking flat coffee in the snow. Well, put on your metaphorical wool socks because we're diving into the world of cybersecurity. Today we're talking about something near and dear to all our hearts, keeping our digital lives safe and sound. Gone are the days of simply building a big wall around your data and hoping for the best. We need a more discerning approach, my friends. One where we trust no one and verify absolutely everything. That's where Zero Trust comes in like a very vigilant butler who demands to see everyone's invitation, even if they look like Meryl Streep. Over the next few minutes, we'll demystify this whole Zero Trust thing and, dare I say, make it a bit more entertaining than flat coffee in the snow. We'll guide you through those crucial first steps, like starting a good skincare routine, but for your digital life. So buckle up and let's get this show on the road. Right then, step one on our zero. Trust adventure is a bit like going to the doctor for a checkup, except instead of checking your pulse, we're checking your network's pulse. And darling, we're not just looking for a heartbeat. We want to know its cholesterol, its blood pressure, the lot. We call this a security assessment, and it's all about understanding what you're working with, warts and all. This means taking a good hard look at your current infrastructure, like peeking under the hood of a very expensive car. You're looking for any vulnerabilities, those pesky little weaknesses that hackers just love to exploit. Think of it this way, you wouldn't leave your front door unlocked all night, would you? Especially if you lived next to someone who collects garden gnomes obsessively. A security assessment helps you identify those digital doors you might have left ajar and, more importantly, how to slam them shut. Now I know what you're thinking, Graham. This all sounds terribly complicated. And yes, while it's not exactly baking a Victoria sponge, it's not rocket surgery either. There are brilliant tools and experts out there who can help you with this stage. Think of them as your cybersecurity fairy godmothers, waving their magic wands to reveal any hidden dangers. The key here is to be thorough. No sweeping things under the digital rug. You need a complete picture of your security posture. Are you wearing your digital raincoat in a downpour? Or are you strolling through a hurricane with just a newspaper on your head? This step is crucial because, let's be honest, you can't fix what you don't know is broken. It's like trying to make a souffle without a recipe. You'll just end up with a sad, deflated mess. Now that you've had your digital checkup, it's time for a bit of prioritization. Because, let's face it, in the world of cybersecurity, not all data is created equal. Some information is like that old tracksuit you wear on Sundays. Comfy, familiar, but no one's going to steal it. And then there's the good stuff, the crown jewels of your digital kingdom. This, my friends, is where we identify and categorize your most critical assets. We're talking about the data, applications, and users that are absolutely vital to your organization's survival. Think of it like this. If your entire IT information infrastructure were a dinner party, who would be your guests of honor? The Queen, Beyonce, Harry Styles. Now, figuring out your VIP list isn't just about playing favorites. It's about understanding what hackers would be most interested in getting their grubby little hands on. Is it your customer data, financial records, the secret recipe for your world-famous sourdough bread? Once you know what matters most, you can start building those Fort Knox level security measures around them. Because let's be honest, you wouldn't leave the koh nor diamond just lying around in a biscuit tin, would you? This step is all about understanding the why behind your security efforts. It's about protecting what truly matters and ensuring that your organization can continue to thrive even in the face of a cyber attack. Because in the immortal words of Beyonce herself, if you liked it, then you should have put a zero trust security model on it. Okay, darlings, we've assessed our security, we've identified our crown jewels, and now it's time to roll up our sleeves and get down to business. But before you start building digital fortresses left, right, and center, let's talk strategy. Implementing zero trust isn't about flipping a switch. It's more like a delicious, slow-cooked meal. You don't just throw all the ingredients in a pot and hope for the best. You've got to chop, saute, simmer, and season everything just right. That's why this next step is all about prioritization. You want to focus your efforts on those areas 
where you'll get the most bang for your cybersecurity buck. Think of it like this. If your house were on fire, God forbid, you wouldn't start by saving the throw pillows, would you? You go straight for the important stuff, your loved ones, your pets, those embarrassing childhood photos you keep hidden in the attic. The same principle applies here. You want to tackle those high-risk areas first, the ones that could cause the most damage if compromised. This is where understanding the potential business impact of a security breach is crucial. What keeps you up at night? Is it the thought of losing customer data, having your financial systems held hostage by ransomware? Or maybe it's the idea of your secret cookie recipe falling into the wrong hands. By prioritizing based on risk and business impact, you can ensure that you're addressing the most critical vulnerabilities first and gradually building a more robust and secure environment. It's about making smart strategic decisions that will ultimately safeguard your digital future. So there you have it. The first steps on your zero trust journey. Remember, it's not about achieving perfect security overnight. It's about taking those small, deliberate steps to strengthen your defenses and create a more resilient organization. Start by understanding your current security posture. Identify those all important crown jewels and then prioritize your efforts based on risk and business impact. It's like a good exercise routine. Start slow, be consistent, and celebrate those small victories along the way. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind tour of Zero Trust. Remember, in a world where everyone wants a piece of your digital pie, trust no one, verify everything, and stay fabulous.